Hey you guys, welcome back. So I've got a huge haul for you. I was like, I really don't even need that much. So I bought out the whole trade show. You know how that goes. So uh, we'll start with DMK. Cause look how cute this bag is. I literally did not need bows at all. Not even a little bit. Um, what is this one for? Oh, this is for some best shots stuff. So. Oh look, Melina gave me this little pen. Isn't that cute? I love a good pen. Oh, did I just break it? Hold on. I'm sorry, you're balancing on an umbrella. How do I open this? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, it's free, you know. Um, how the fuck? Okay, well, it's pretty. <laughs> I can't get it open. Okay, so anyway, I did not need any bows because I bought so much shit from AliExpress, but I didn't have any seasonal things, you know. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I was like looking around, I was like, there's really no good place to do this. Um, oh, and of course I, I got a text receipt, so I don't have prices on any of this, so I'm so sorry. Oh no, it says it on it, okay. So these are five large tie-ons for $13.50. This camera situation is gonna be rough, okay? I'm gonna try not to like knock the camera down. But look at these, and they made them themselves, like the Frankenstein, shut up. This is why I bought it. The Chucky girl, please. And they, they completely designed these. And then we've got this one, the bat. You see him, he's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, we got like a skeleton with a spider. And, oh, I like this one. He's kind of like got like a little skull vibe. Looks like a little shirt. How cute are those? I saw those and I was like, I have to have them. I have to, you know? I don't care if I need bows or not. Look, somebody gave me these ears the other night when I was at the bar. So cute. Love it. Her name's Lissa. It's, it howls on Instagram. Go follow her. Anyway, so, oh, these are big. Okay. So these are three for $11.95, but these would definitely fit like medium dogs. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to make this situation better. Is there something maybe I can, oh, let's use this pen. Prop it in front of it, maybe. Y'all know, if you didn't come here for a professional YouTube video, let's be real. Um, so I was like, look though, I love the little, little things. And these are bigger, they're definitely bigger. I did not even realize that whenever I got them. Oh, what's this? Oh, I see. So it's like, you get this bag, right? And like, I guess you'd put your wallet in there. Cute, okay, here for it. All right, so that this isn't working just stay you know okay and then we got these these are new six for ten and i loved this little ghost with pumpkin she's the whole reason i bought them okay, i've got a couple of those and then a little purple sparkly bat very cute i love it i got a couple of those are these all the same oh we got a little one eye skull very cute. Yeah, so those I hadn't seen before. See, I buy a lot of stuff from DMK. I've been shopping at AliExpress, but for the um, seasonal stuff, I do like to do DMK because AliExpress can take some time to get there. Um, so then we got these bows. These are eight for 11, or sorry, these are little ties. Look at those though, with the pastel ghosts. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. The spiders. Oh my god, I love I love all of them. They're so cute. Okay. So what did I say? Eight for eleven. Oh, and I got I got a couple of these because like I knew I, I wanted like especially that Chucky one. Like I may have to put that on hammer. How cute would hammer look with that? Like shut the fuck up. I love it. Okay, and then these they've had in previous years, but these it's like an oldie but a goodie, you know. Did I the price on those five for thirteen fifty. I like that they're putting that on the tag now because y'all know I I forget. Come on, just stay. Why are you falling? What are you even doing? Like you you have anything else to do? You know, look at that with the tongue. That's so cute. Okay, and then we got that kind of reminds me of what is it Kiki's delivery service that Studio Ghibli doesn't that cat kind of remind you of that we got some witches shoes and then we got. A little hat this is boo cute kind of matches my little hat on my arm yep cute we love it all right what did, what did i say this one four for 13. is it really only four 
I feel like there were so many. Okay. Period. Mm -hmm. And then we got these smaller size. These are five for 10. And it looks like the same prints as the big one. So Cameron's getting the little good boy thing. That is too cute. Oh, these were new. Did I get two the same? I think I did. Let me just go ahead and show you both. I can sworn I grabbed two of these. That's okay. Uh, I guess not. But I did grab two of these. That's gonna drive me crazy. What if I prop you back like that? Where you're balancing. We'll see. I'm sorry. It's a mess. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Can't tell me that hammer would not look so freaking cute with that. I love it. Um, okay, and those again were, what was it, like five for 10? Yes, five for 10. And then these were six for 11. But look at those. Are they not so fun? I love those. And they have like a little band, you know. Oh my God, so fun. I love that they look kind of like pleather. Adorable, love it. Okay, so that's all I got. No, I'm sorry, I got one more thing. I thought these would be really cute for pictures. They're just like a little hat, you know, cause like some people don't like the bows, but I just thought this would be really cute for pictures. So I got those and they were two for five. So that's a really good price. Um, so anyway, love DMK. It was so good seeing Melena and Jameson. They're amazing. I'll be seeing everybody tonight too. I'm going to the um, awards show thing with GSH, which is fun. We all dress up and everything. But speaking of, I should probably take these cat ears off because I don't want to have like little indentions in my hair. I to look real cute for this awards show, you know? Woke up and showered and got all pretty this morning. Y'all know how it is. Not that I look good in this lighting, but that's okay. All right. So that's all I got from DMK. And I guess we'll go... I'll stick with Pet Store Direct as last because I just got so much shit from there, you know? Um, okay, so this was actually separate. I got this at the Best Shot booth, went by and saw Dave Campanella. I already had so much stuff from Best Shot. Like I've got a gallon of shampoo, a gallon of conditioner, a couple other things. There was like more stuff I could have bought, but I bought so much shit I really didn't need. I don't know where I'm even gonna put it, you know? Um, I was like, I just need a couple of shampoos. I'll just do that and be on my way. And then that's not what happened. So anyway, that was that best shot. And this was $10. Um, so, sorry, my lips are chapped. I can feel it. Okay, good. This is like itemized. That's my name. Okay, so I went by, oh, it was Cherry Brook. I didn't even know that. I was just like, oh, Chris Christensen, I need that. So I got the Clean Start Shampoo. It's like they're clarifying. I don't know if I've ever used this one. So we're gonna see how it smells. Oh, okay, I was like, surely there's a trash can nearby. Oh, it's very baby powdery. Y'all know how I am with my smells. Mm, it's not my favorite. I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. It's very baby powdery. Um, and that was, clean start was 16. So, you know, we'll see how it works. It's one I'm like, maybe I would try it again, maybe I wouldn't. Just because I'm so big on smells, you know. Um, there we go. Okay, so next we got the Thick and Thicker Shampoo. And they changed the bottle on this. Like, I was looking everywhere because I wanted that protein whatever for the Thick and Thicker. And I couldn't find it. And then I realized it was these red bottles. I could have sworn it was white before. Ooh, that smells good. It smells like a fresh apple. Like, not like the green apple artificial scent. It's like very crisp apple. Like, you're taking a bite out of an apple. Okay, I like that. Interesting. So this is for volume. Um, and I've used their protein, which I did buy some. I'll show you in a second. Um, you know, I don't actually think that they list their ingredients, though. That's the only thing which I'm not a fan of. But I have been buying a few more things that don't list. Just because, like, some of the products are really good. And I didn't want... Like, I'm just kind of at a point where I'm like... Am I fighting a losing battle or am I just like depriving myself? And that was um, 26 for the shampoo. I don't know. They may be listing it. Like, I wonder if you could go on Cherry Brook. I'm going to have to look. I don't know. But I, I'm so obsessed with the After You Bathe. That's actually what I went over there for. But then I ended up getting a few other things. So this is still thick and thicker, but this is their um, leave-in. Is this better under the light? I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. Look at Hello, very fancy. Um, so yeah, this is a leave-in. Uh, and I mean, 
we'll see it smells the same it smells very like fresh apple which i do like the scent so that's good um and this is actually what i went over there for was the volume response foaming protein i've used this before so you're supposed to shampoo it first then rinse and then you apply this and rinse um it work it says to work it in from the root to the tips which i kind of hate that phrasing it's it's just a cosmetology thing so like the root is like in the in your skin like it's not like roots are not like like this like that's new growth that's your new growth that's coming in like not your roots so anyway that's just like a cosmetology peppy but it really doesn't matter um and then you leave it for two three minutes and rinse thoroughly so this is kind of like a conditioner basically um but it's really good on like bichons and poodles anything that you want like to have a lot of volume it's it's a light it doesn't it actually like foams up like a shampoo so um but it'll give a lot of volume so that one's really good now this one the after you bathe i swear by this stuff it's so good let me smell it because i haven't smelled it in a while did i smell this one i'm assuming like it's probably all the same scent right I don't remember though. I've used this before and I don't remember. Why does this phone keep trying me? Like just stay up. Like what are you doing? Like the lighting's bad. I, I have to say like normally you get like a good desk light that you can like really see but like this is it. It's all I got. Like unless I was gonna film it on the bed. Oh no this does smell different. Kind of smells like an old lady hair salon. Not my favorite, but it works really good. So I do like this stuff. Um, the after you bathe, this smells good. What does this smell like? Hmm. It's kind of sweet. It's not very fruity, but it's not very salon-ish either. I don't know. It's a very unique smell, but this one's good. And again, this one I really like on like Yorkies. Um, I think my friend Nicole Dunn Grooming uses this on like Pomeranians and stuff like you can this honestly works on a lot of different dogs but this one I believe is pH balanced um and it's supposed to um like if we, if we just push it back like this are you gonna stay probably not but you know we'll try it anyway so um I think it's more pH balanced so it just kind of helps to uh, close up that outside layer of hair to uh, cut down on drying and all that and at least I, I want to say that Nicole uses this for de-shedding. I'm such a huge fan of the Best Shot Ultramax line for the de-shedding that that's pretty much all I use if I'm going to de-shed but you know you could try this especially on your more regular clients it might be better. I would use if you're going to do a de-shed that's not been groomed in like a couple months then I would I would probably do Best Shot but that's just me. I'm just like realizing I'm gonna have to carry all this shit out. Oh, and let me show you these while I'm thinking about it. So GSH gave me these. I did not pay for them. So I'll just go ahead and disclose everything else I paid for. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so the after you bathe is 16. The foaming protein that I showed you, that like conditioner thing, the thick and thicker, that was 25, and the leave-in was 21. So I spent $110.89 at that booth. Okay. So I should know this, but I don't remember how much these combs cost. I was like doing a little work at the GSH booth, but they didn't ask me to work up there. So I didn't really know what I was doing. And like, I felt bad because people kept going like, how much is this? I'm like, I'm not sure. I didn't know how to check people out because they hadn't like trained me to do that. So anyway, I was just like, I went by yesterday, but today I was like, I'm not even going to ask them if they need my help. Because I almost feel like I was like a hindrance more than a help because I don't know. I, I know a decent amount, but they obviously like the other people that were working the booth they had like explained these things to them so when people ask questions they knew the answer and like a lot of it I was like hey <laughs> so anyway I didn't go by there today um but regardless they did give me these columns I guess for working the booth or whatever um so this is like their version of the Utsumi I can tell you it's definitely not as light but this one's much cheaper I do know that um I don't know if I'm gonna like it as much as the Utsumi I really like how like fine and everything that Usumi is and like how the metal is and everything so I don't know if this is I know it's supposed to be like comparable but I don't know if it's going to be a full-on comparison or not um and that one's pretty new that's a newer thing that GSH has come out of I, I or come out with I'm kind of out of the loop with that um and then this I would use this I heard uh Annalise saying that she would use this for like fine detailing on the face personally this is an eye booger comb to me but um I mean I could see what she's saying like the teeth are like super close together so you could definitely use these for like around the muzzle why are we doing this phone like why 
why are we doing this? Are you trying to sabotage me? I'm trying to do this video real quick and we're almost done. Are we? No, we're like halfway done because I forgot how much I got from Pet Store Direct. I was just grabbing, you know, that's, that's my biggest fault is I just start grabbing shit and then I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I don't know the price of either of those because they were given to me, but I remember they weren't expensive because like I said, I was at the booth briefly. Okay, so let's start with this back. Oh my God, this shit was killing my shoulder. Like, and I was talking to people a lot, like, um... I went up and talked to Jeremy from Hydra for like a while. We we're just talking about like life and dating after you've been single for a long time and all of that. So anyway, um, but I was standing there, my shoulders were like breaking. I really am not sure what to do about this situation. Um, I don't know why I was spelling this because I can already tell you. Oh, I almost drank it. Did you see that? I can see my friend. You see it? Like, girl, why? Why? Yeah just stay anyway um so I got the deep clean I think the last time I did a haul it was probably in March whenever I was there last I think I literally got these same three that's the deep clean this is the volume and this one is the harsh and shiny coat I really like these three so I was like let me get the bigger bottles because I do tend to go through my shampoos um so I got those yeah she did give me a receipt I was like I don't Jilly was working the booth so we were talking as I was checking out Y'all know Jilly Mooch Grooms, right? And uh, I was like trying to remember. I was like, wait a second. And this really started to piss me off with this one. Yeah, so I did get a receipt. So those were $26.94 each for the 33.4 ounce bottle. So I think that's a great price. Um, and then I did buy another bottle. I don't think I even talk about this on YouTube, but I got this whole line of the detox shampoo from Hydra. I really do like this stuff. This stuff is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's like, I, the scent is very unique. It's definitely more on the all natural side. This is $30 um, and this is a 33.8 ounce. Um, and this one, I, I wanna say that the other bottles are like 10 to one dilution rate, whereas this one is four to one, but that's like, a suggested because so you can use less so you don't have to do four to one like that honestly can be a lot sometimes um because everybody's water is different and all that um yeah so this one says one to five up to one to twenty so that's that's kind of like how a lot of them are going to work again it's going to depend on your water and all that like and how dirty the dog is and all those things so um anyway you're going to get more bang for your buck with the botanica but i really have been enjoying this detox line from Hydra and they have this mud mask. It comes in a big bottle like this too. So I just still have so much, but I am loving that mud mask. Like that is some good shit. Um, you put it on before you bathe them. So you put it on, you let it sit. I think it's only for like a minute and then rinse it off and then you go in with the rest. And I'm just chef's kiss, baby. I love it. Um, and then this is like hands down my favorite Hydra perfume. This is the forever candy. So good. That's what I say. Ugh so good and this shit will last you forever like I probably will this will last me like a year for real like these bottles because you don't you literally for most dogs I'm going to do two sprays I, like especially the smaller dogs you know so love this had to buy that um and I think that one's 45 oh no it was a little cheaper 32.50 I swear that it was more expensive. Okay, now this I haven't tried before. And Botanica was doing a sale that it was buy two, get one on these sprays. I don't know if that's like a normal thing. Can I not open this? Hmm. Sorry. I can't really smell it. It's got a light fragrance. Oh, it's like chalky. Can you see that? Is this one you have <laughs> jack it off first? No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, some of you guys get mad at me for my humor and I like, I, I'm a dirty joke. Kind of, oh my gosh. Can you all see that on camera? It looks like, um, it's like shiny looking. Can you guys see that? What the fuck? Whoa, what is in this? Castor oil, silicone, interesting, interesting. Wow, this is something. What is this even for? I just thought it looked cool. Okay, it says lightwear, lightwear, 
lightweight hair mist that instantly creates a high gloss finish. Thanks to the special formulation, you will be amazed by its non-sticky effect. Can be used on all coat types to give hair a gorgeous gloss and creates an invisible veil of pure luminous shine. Please remember to shake well before use. Use spray over from 30 centimeters distance to create natural shiny look. Sh short push of the bottle mini trigger allows spray less dosage of the mist. Okay. Um, wow, I really wish this was picking up on camera. This is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna be using that on hammer, sorry. I didn't even remember to check the camera. I start blabbing and I'm like, oh yeah, y'all are looking at the ceiling, my bad. Um, so anyway, that one is 1614. And then, wait, how many sprays did I get? Maybe it was buy three, get one. Must be, because I've got, okay, I got the, this is the avocado spray, which I've already talked about many times. I always end up buying this one when I go to the trade show. Oh, I noticed the packaging is different. It smells different. It still smells good, but I, I feel like I remember liking the other smell better. Okay, interesting. But I do like this. It's really lightweight. Now I'm going to have to try it and make sure this is still the same formula, you know? I don't know how to make the phone stay. I think we've established that by now. Um, but anyway, so I got that. That one was $7.79. And then I got this Magic Test... <laughs> What was I saying? Magic Touch Spray. Um, and this one's really good for detangling. This has been my, no, my new go-to for like matted ears and tails. I spray this and brush it out. Everything brushes out so easily. So I really have been liking this Magic Touch Spray and I'm almost out of it. So I had to buy more of that. And that one is 1014. And then I got this one because she said I got a free one. And so I don't know how much this one was. Um, it must have been the cheapest because it was the free one. Um, it was 8.4 ounces, the Love Me Long Spray. It says Shea and some sort of extract. I don't know. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm, how do I describe it? It's kind of fruity. This camera's driving me mad. Fortunately, this is my last thing. Um, I'll just quit blabbing at you. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Natural Shea. Okay, and this is, says it's another detangling. I don't know. That smells good. It's almost like kind of got a beachy vibe. Like, I don't know. It's nice. I like that. Um, so I'm wondering. Love me long spray. Detangler. Is this one a detangler? This is a scissor spray. Okay. So I'm guessing this one, the avocado is going to be more light than the um, Love Me Long spray. So interesting. I'm excited to try them. I'm excited about this thing. This is some crazy shit right there. Oh my God. I'm going to have to put that on my story. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Anyway, so, oh, did I say everything? Yeah, I did. Okay. So a total, I spent $174.39 at Pet Store Direct. Um, and that's it, you guys. That's all I got. I really didn't, I, I didn't need half as much as the shit that I bought, you know. I just go crazy, go in and start grabbing shit and everything's at good pricing and everything. I'm probably going to go back down there because I forgot I told uh, Joseph Carella that I would go back by his booth. He's like, yeah, stop by, by back by. I was like, yeah, and just like headed out. You know me. So anyway, it's good to see you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, we got lots of good goodies. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to post this on my story because that's so freaking cool. I love it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am working on putting more videos out. I had like, I, I did a video on this already, but I basically had a lot of craziness going on in my life. And it's hard like when you're busy with work and then I've started dating again. So I'm like busy with boys and all that and like trying to balance that. And then also like do social media stuff is a lot so I do post the most on YouTube so or not on YouTube I'm sorry on Instagram so if you like to see my day-to-day -day going on so then I would go to Instagram but I am trying to get better about YouTube too so just bear with me I know I'm always asking a lot of you with that like just, just bear with me <laughs> and I like I'm like I can post more and then I don't so I appreciate y'all following me thank you so much to everybody that came up and said hey to me um I I don't I never know what to say like I I 
because I, I don't think of myself as, like, any more important than anybody else. Maybe I should open this window, do you think? Yeah, that might help. But anyway, like, I, I don't think of myself as, like, some special person. So, like, I just always, I almost get, like, a little nervous when people come up and they're like, oh, my God, like, I'm starstruck and all that. I'm like, for me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just chilling, y'all. Um, I just don't, you know, I don't. It's not, like, not that I don't take it seriously, but it's like, you know, I'm just having a good time. And I like doing these videos, and uh, I think it's cool that people watch them, and it's just, like, unreal to me when people come on. Like, I watch you. Like, I had a girl tell me that she was going through a really bad breakup, and that, like, I was, like, her friend that she, like, kept in her pocket. I was like, oh, my God, dude. Like, that's crazy. Like, because I, I had YouTubers like that whenever I was going through my shit, but, like... It's crazy to think that I was that for somebody else. But it's, it's cool. Like, I love it. But I'm also, like, almost, like, intimidated by it. Like, because I want to live up to the expectations that you guys have of me. And be more than that. Even I want I want everybody to just love me, you know? I just want you guys to like me. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I'm working on YouTube videos. Trying to get my life together. It's an ongoing theme, I think. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And uh, I hope to be seeing a lot more of you coming soon. I'm going to try to stay on it, you guys. I'm sorry. All right. I love you guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. I uh, will see you in the next one.